Yes, just one change for France, and it's a big one. Antoine Dupont returning just 24 days after suffering that fractured cheekbone. Cyril Bay, Peto Malvaca, and Winnie Antonio are the front row for France this evening. A huge night ahead for two French locks, perhaps no more for their mobility than power. Cameron Wocky, who was born in Saint-Denis just down the road, teams up with Thibaut Flamel. Anthony Gelon only recently returned playing after six months out with an ACL injury. He's in the back row with La Rochelle number eight, Greg Aldrit, and France's top try scoring forward of all time, Charles Olivon. Has that famous cheekbone fully healed? Well, we will find out. It's a 20th test as captain for Antoine Dupont. Fly half much as Jalabert has made the number 10 shirt all his own at this tournament. Jonathan Donti has won each of his last 18 tests playing for France. His combination with defence captain Gail Ficou could be crucial. Louis Bielbiare only turned 20 in June this year. He plays his first game at the Stade de France. Damien Penno has seven tries in his last seven tests. The fullback Thomas Ramos is the leading point scorer at the World Cup. 13 of the France match day 23 have never lost at this stadium. Well, seven of the South African matchday squad played in their previous two World Cup quarterfinals. Stephen Kitsop gets a start at loose head prop. A big responsibility again for Bongi and Banambi and Hooker after that tournament ending injury to Malcolm Marks. Franz Malherbe plays in a third quarterfinal. Only Brian Habana and Victor Matfield have more Springbok caps than even Etzebeth. He teams up with the equally abrasive Franco Mostert in the second row. Sio Khaleesi leads South Africa for a 51st time. The oldest player in the squad, Dwayne Vermeulen, takes over at number eight. Former World Player of the Year, Peter Steph Dutoy, wears seven. A big selection call at nine and ten. Kobus Reinach and Marni Libek are preferred to Faf de Klerk and Andre Pollard, who are on the bench this evening. Two World Cup winners in the midfield, Damien Dejalindi and Jesse Creel. Creel has three tries in his previous five tests against France. South Africa are yet to score a counter-attack try at this World Cup. That could change with the likes of Cheslin Colby, Kirtley Aronsa and Damian Willemse teaming up in the back three. Perhaps surprisingly again, there's five forwards and three backs on the South African bench, but plenty of power and talent to call upon as usual. A nation united for a World Cup dream. Back in Paris after a road trip around the country. A tour de France, if you like. France and South Africa for a place in the semi-final. Le Bleu looking to continue their quest for World Cup glory. There's also Captain France. On many occasions, there's a little dink over the top from Dupont. It's for Jalibert, and the fly half has scooped it up for France. Dupont already making things happen. And look at Louis Biel Biarre! <laughs> Almost. Peter Malvaca. For Cameron Walkie. And they're rumbling forward, France. They're almost there. Malvaka. Change of direction from Wocky. Penalty advantage, France. Penno for Cyril Bay. And we're barely three minutes in. And already the roof is lifted off the Stade de France. But look at the slick hands of the bag and the skip. Good pass. Rapino and the finish by the big number one. Cyril by Kobus Reinach tries to charge it down, but the flags are up. Very clever from the vastly experienced Eben Etzebet. His 111th test match tonight. His BLBRA, the young 20-year-old Tyro coming in off his left wing. Gregory Aldred again. Turnover's good. Turnover, good South Africa. Good. Wins the ball. Dwayne Vermeulen involved in that, I think. Veteran number eight. Kicked high. 
Gone backwards and look at Kirtley, Aronson. Aronson's got space in front of him. And he will score for South Africa. Against the run of play. The Springboks have their first try of the night. Making an all or nothing play. The back end of it after the turnover from Dwayne van Meulen up high. Reinach becomes a 50-50 ball there. And this kid here, Curly Arendza, can fly. 12 tries in his previous 12 test matches coming into this quarterfinal. Curtly Arendza, he is lightning. And there wasn't anything that Soma Ramos could do about that. Shot clock's down to five seconds. Tries to curl it round, and he does so. Use it! You must use it! Dante. So often the source of momentum for France. Round Penalty. You need to step over, not come round the side. But he won't have the distance, it hits the upright, Willemse. Can't take it on the first grab. Steph Dutoy oh, wins the line out. Looks a little unstraight, but they carry on. Here's Aaron the try scorer through a half gap. Offloads Jesse Creel now. Slightly leading with the left arm. That's what the crowd are unhappy about. Here's Libick. High crossfield kick. Wokey, but it's into the hands of Dale Indy. Tommy and Dale Indy still going the inside centre. South Africa looking for their second try. Reiner. And Dale Indy will score it for the Springboks. With Kirtley Aronsa decided to take it in. A couple of passes here went to ground. Creel was the one in the end that set it up which allowed them to get their line sorted for the cross kick from Le Boc. And from here it becomes a 50-50 ball. Look at all the chases. Green jersey, Fuku can't handle it. This guy here, I'm a real fan of him, Delende. Goes straight ahead, but look at the effort on effort play from the number 12. He gets off off the deck, gets back into play, and then gets the score. Well, only Jean de Villiers has started more games. Laser-like pass from Dupont to Jalabert, Ramos, Peno, back inside to Dupont. Ramos now. They pick and go to France. Sia Felici asked the referee, can I have a go at that? He said yes, and that's exactly what the Springbok captain has done. But do France still have the ball? I think they do. Malvaka. Thibaut Flamont to Dante again. And France do get their penalty. And Dupont's going to play quickly. Antoine Dupont. Malvaka. He scores. And now Malvaka. Here's the initial go forward from Dante. The quick tap from the everywhere DuPont. Man, he has class and the pass to finish. Well, the impact he's making already, it's incredible, isn't it? And Jalabert spoke about it during the week that he said he knows he's capable of making such a big difference. He inspires that fear in opponents, uh, said the France fly half. And... Ramos. It's been charged down by Cheslin Colby. It remains 12 each. Oh, effort plays as a coach. This is what you love. He takes a long time in his wind-up. And this guy is super quick. A hooker by Crook France have brought this line-out down. Cyril by again. So thrilled to have him back after missing a few games with that calf strength. Here's Aldrich now. So often the, the primary ball carrier for France. Antonio from La Rochelle. Yes, ball was out. Yeah, ball's out, says the referee. Good line speed from South Africa, and they've got possession. Here's Jesse Creel. Puts it on the toe. Cheslin Colby. It sits up for him. 
Cheslin Colby is absolute lightning for South Africa. Picked out nicely by De Toy. Good recognition from Creel to kick this ball through. And this guy here has got box off his speed. Cheslin Colby. Well, he of course scored a try in the World Cup final four years ago in Japan. Wow, what a sight that is. Cheslin Colby in full flight. Arnie Levick has hit it very well, though. Can we please get it restarted on the big Six kicks from Antoine Dupont. Attacking kicks as well. Malvaca comes around the corner, the dummy from the hooker. Good tackle from Mel Herber, the tight head prop. Here's Dante. France are over the line, cheering for the score. Cyril Bay. And he has a second try for France. They get their third try of the half. And the conversion will level it up once more. Vaka with a good hold off this line out. The move was actually to give it the pass here, but he saw a bit of space. And then Dante, we know he loves this part of the field. He hits it up on the back of that ruck. You can see just to the left-hand side, great body position, great power. Bye gets two. In the Six Nations for the last three years for France. That's how crucial he is. Ramos dinks it over for the extra two. We're level at 19. France have a penalty advantage. Here's Dante again. Loose ball out the back to Jalabert. Gets away from Jesse Creel. There's much here. Jalabert flicks it out the back for Penno. It's gone behind him. Colby's off to the races, but they'll go back for the Can penalty advantage. So I'm just going to give me some space. So, Brendan, coming upstairs to you, we've got potential foul play. Put it on the big screen and we'll let, um, let you know what we're going to do. Yes, Ben, I'm going to show you head on head contact by South Africa 4. Sends a team moment to that. Oh, yeah. Crown of the head, too. There is mitigation, I think, with them dipping. So we've got direct head-on-head -head contact. It is foul play. You need to be lower. So it's a yellow card. It's foul play and a review. Eben Etzebeth goes to the sin bin. Tomat Ramos to put France in front. And he does just that as we go to half-time. Entertainment Plus in the first 40 minutes here at the Stade de France. Three tries apiece. Mathieu Jalabert gets us back underway. 40 minutes from a semi-final. Six! Advantage! Advantage to France. Dupont can play. He goes the short side to Jalabert. Steps away from one defender. Hit the penalty advantage. The crowd will tell the story. Thomas Ramos has the first point of the second half. Almost making the decision of what to do here. Arceus Neyman to Vimulen. To Clark. Advantage South Africa. Twisting, looking release, for the try. Twitty, release. No, we've got the penalty advantage for offside. De Klerk. New advantage offside. Finds one of his forwards. There's Faree. De Klerk to Etzebeth. Eben Etzebeth has the try for South Africa. Careful, careful, careful. Damien, Damien. To take that tap. But look at the big boy, Eben Etzebeth. Go rumble and get you some, son. His sixth test try. Jalabert gets us back underway. Approaching the final 10 minutes. Talfa oh, Fanua back, got there back. very well for France. And they've won possession here. Dupont skips away. Loose ball, Wokey's there. Anything, anyone? Furious defence coming in from Dion Fourie. Penalty again 
to South Africa. Pollard from 52 metres. The flags are up. France need to recycle. They do so. Wadi has it, but he's wrapped up by De Klerk. Advantage France. Ramos is going to cross kick with the free hit. It's too heavy. Colby Marks and they'll come back. Well, now there's a decision to be made what they do with this penalty. Ramos straight down the middle. No problem. We're back to a one point game in the quarter final. Talpa Fanua. Reza Wadi just takes his time, needs to get low here, but what a carry that is, he's lost the ball! The clock's in the red! And Cheslin Colby! South Africa! Power on to the semi-final! French World Cup dreams! are shattered.